Hello everyone, it is I, Lunar Rail, and today we're going to play Flesh, Blood and Concrete. I don't really know much about this game other than that by the looks of it and by the icon, it's an RPG maker game. And that the art style looks kind of cool. But other than that, I have absolutely no clue what this game is about, so let's just jump right into it. A dual throb resounds in my skull. The word outside my car window has vanished, replaced with an impenetrable field of white. Covered in snow, this strange town becomes interchangeable with the one from my childhood. The uniform matchbox buildings turn into an array of white squares. I grew up several thousand kilometers from here, but in the haze, the shapes grow to resemble the countryside. The courtyards, sorry. Courtyards and parking lots of my earliest memories. Ah, uh, this reading's gonna be funny. But hopefully y'all will uh, enjoy the video regardless. These streets are alien and intimate. It's, a war it's as warm as it is eerie. My head feels like it's being crushed. Didn't realize how tired I was. Can feel my hands on the dull pain and biting wind. Too weak to grip the steering wheel any longer. I let go. The car jerks off the road with the last few drops of gas. Monoliths rise out of the haze. Every landmark is unrecognizable. My eyes want to shut. I don't want them to. Nausea crawls up from my stomach and settles in my throat. I want to warm it up my soul. So I'll open the window. My hand ignores my racing mind and lies limp on the steering wheel. I don't want to die. Oh, here we are. So we're playing as Lyra. Alright. Ew, why are you trying to talk to me? Leave me alone. Oh. What the fuck? Th there's something over there. Fuck off, Dad. No one asked you to be here. <laughs> I wake to biting cold. I'm still alive, then. The door is frozen shut. And they're false. Uh, suffocated in this car. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're grown up now. Or something. Sitting between dead apartment blocks and empty streets is a young girl me methodically building a snowman with woven berry eyes and, the and a pinecone nose. Her intensely focused gaze makes me hesitate, hesitate to call out her to her. She doesn't seem to notice me at all. The first thing I notice is that her hands, now red with frost, are bare. Must be painful to sculpt snow like that. The second thing is that her school uniform is several decades out of place, and furthermore, simply unfit for the middle of a snowstorm. Wait, wait, where, where are you running from? Damn it. Wonder why she was so scared of me. The keypad that locks the door has been completely smashed. This building must be abandoned. Oh god, the mailboxes are in good shape. Yeah, we will be saving because no one knows what's gonna happen in an RPG Maker game. There's no reason to go deeper into the building right now. What the fuck? Some architect must have really messed up. I feel bad for the family that had to live in that room. I think this building is abandoned, but I don't want to end up barging into someone's apartment. Heaven's dust in here. I think this building is abandoned in here. Yeah. Mirror just cracked to a point where I can better recognize my own face. Thank god. God damn it, the door isn't opening. It looks like the lock is broken. And the between this room and the next is broken. If I have to, I might be able to squeeze through. 
complete the next room. Yeah, sure. Oh! In front of me stands the same girl I saw outside, now intensely, uh, intently focused on the part in front of her uh, as wisps of steam escape from under its lid. The noise from me climbing through the window doesn't even face her. Oh, oh no, no good at all, oops. Um, hello, I didn't mean to. How did you get in here? Uh, I'm not stealing or anything, my car ran out of gas, I'm looking for a gas station. Gas station? Mm, don't have something like that here. Are your parents home? Can I talk to them? Mm -hmm. I can talk to them. Character objects that enter or your spacebar. Or Z, but you know. When I was younger, I burned my hand on a stove like this, and the spirals left a scar on my palm. Idiot. Should have branded myself with something cooler. Try taking the garlic to the left of the door, then check it in your inventory. Try to be filled with gas or something else. My only ticket out of this place. Shame I had the foresight. Baby. Garlic is the soul of any dish. If recipe calls for one clove of garlic, you should put in three. Most display cabinets and drawers can be opened. A photograph taken. Picture of you. It's an old photograph of you. The display case is stuffed with the same thick black hair that coats the walls and ceilings. Stack of paper on the floor, take them now. The pages are covered in strings of numbers, I can't make any sense of what they mean. Okay, well I guess I'm out of here. Second floor. Oh, oof, are you okay? Yep, yep, I'm okay. Are you following me? Can you go ask your parents where I could find a gas station? I'm not following you, of course not. I'm just walking around myself. Uh, okay, I just don't want you to get trapped here. So I'd like to find some way to fix my car. You're gonna leave? Of course. Oh, I never asked for your name. I'm Nika. Nika, well, it's nice to know you. I'm Lyra. Lyra? Just Lyra? Can't really call you that. Yeah, we're going to ask your family about the gasoline now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a bizarre girl. She asks as if she's living in a completely ordinary place, but I suppose that's kind of comforting. Okay. <laughs> Wonder how long this television set has been sitting here, breathing static to no one. Oh, this is a VHS player, isn't it? If I find any VHS tapes, I'll be able to play them here. Speaking of... Political film? That's it. Alright. Yeah, let's take the candy. Hi Charlotte. Charlotte? Why am I calling a Charlotte? It, okay, so for some reason, while I'm playing this game, I'm just thinking of Hello Charlotte, even though I have not played that game in my life ever. Maybe I should. Animated film. some bread or tea? Uh, I think I'll pass. Really? Really? Yeah, I'm not that hungry and I've never been much of a tea drinker. You aren't hungry, but you drove all the way from the capital. That's really far away. Fine. Now if you insist, I'd feel bad saying no. 
bit here. I want to test something. If it's poison, I hope that it kills me painlessly. Here you go. It's a honey cake. I've been saving it for so long, for, for so long that I almost ate it myself. Mm, thank you, but why were you saving it in the first place? I read in a book that it's more fulfilling <laughs> when you give food to someone else instead of eating it yourself, but I don't feel fulfilled at all. I'm still hungry. You want it back? I don't need it. No, maybe I'll be fulfilled when you eat it. So I have the honey cake now. Honey cake that smells of rye and sweet condensed milk. It's coated with a thin layer of dust. Seems to be a bit stale, but it's probably still the good to eat. It's a miracle that no one has stolen the piping out of the walls. Pipe cells are pretty petty, you know. That is true. Especially, I guess, if... Especially, like, if it's from a world like this, because this is most likely taking place in, like, really old Russia. Most likely, so pipes would sell. Still do kind of. It's sad that in years past poems would be copied on the sheets of scrap paper and burnt quietly before those words could incriminate the writer and a thankless ritual. The scrap is completely illegible. Small coin. Board skeleton. Sure. Home movie too. Let's see this. Oh. The fuck. Um. Hmm. Okay. Movie preserved on a VHS tape because at the pink label it reads Summer 98. Hmm, and I guess this game takes place around 2000? I don't know actually. It's just a guess though. Poor something figure. Sparrow. Figuring up from the 60s. It's based off an old fairy tale, the Scarlet Flower. An open pack of cigarettes. Oh, yeah, no, they'd be old if it doesn't have people dying on it. Cola? What kind? Old cola. Looks like it's 30 years old. Someone has taken a sip of it. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess let's check out that I went with, um... Nikki. Nikki? I think it was Nikki. Oh, I forgot. Rebecca is twitching. It's infested with bugs. Maybe. So what is this place? Where, where does your family live? They live all over the place. Yeah, Squatters or something like that? I don't know what that means, but this is my house. And everyone is always welcome here too. Especially you, because you're nice. You don't even know me though. You're not supposed to trust trust strangers. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Everyone is a stranger sometimes. If you don't know strangers, you don't know anyone. I guess. We have dolls. Hey, these are the dolls. The Matryoshka dolls. I fear that they don't have faces on them though. Uh, is that a Jesus poster? Poster picture, sorry. Cross stitches in a frame. The lying on the floor must have fallen off the wall. Take it. Cat cross stitch. Okay, I think I think I've been in this room before. Maybe it was a childhood fever dream. It's comforting. Then 
what if I go back? I'll turn it again. Oh, am I in your way? Yeah. Teacup. What was it in this play case? And then I talk to her about the teacup and be like, on your way again? Yeah. In your way? No. Yeah. What are the plans here? Hmm. I guess it's time to go even further up. Doesn't have anything on, doesn't have anything on, doesn't have anything on, doesn't have anything on. A neon soda bottle lies in the corner of the room, take it, yeah. Still soda bottle filled with neon green liquid, no matter how many times my mother told me that it would be poison. It would poison me, I was entranced by its green glow and often bought it from street vendors. Is there blood on the floor, uh, fucking walls, by the way? What's up with that? Oh god! Preschool primer. Yeah, so. so why is there a picture of us in this building, by the way? Fear. Alphabet book it looks just like the one I learned from filled with bright illustrations of an unfamiliar kind of world. Prized possessions lined the shelves in the display case books, porcelain, glass figures, and family photos. Oh, finally, what the fuck? Some hooligan must have placed this here because it hasn't started to rot. Oh hi. <laughs> it's moldy. In fact, there's so much more that a new species of mold has probably been created. There's nothing but spider webs in this display case. Jerk pickles, preserves, and spice are lined up on the bottom shelf. Average European household. Not this, just in general. An icon lies hidden in the drawer, take it. What kind of icon is it? Gold plated, gold plated painting of a of a twentieth century saint whose birth was foretold by, uh, foretold by a dream of a white bird with a human face, and empty eye sockets. In life, her prayers wore a cross shaped hole in her forehead. Hello there. Found out where to get gasoline for you. Thank you. There's a room on the fourth floor. It's locked, but I got the key for you. Specifically. And especially. Here it is. That's That was nice of you. Of course, I'm always supposed to be kind to guests. Who tells you to do that? My family does. They need me to show you the room. I think I'll find it on my own. And one more room. What the fuck? There's something tethered to the ceiling. No. Someone. A desiccated corpse being digested in slow motion by the mass of flesh that surrounds it. I want to run to avert my eyes but I'm locked to this place. My eyes fixed to the mangled thing in front of me. I have to leave. I don't want to look. Consider more battery batteries. God, what the fuck? Oh, VHS. Alright, time to view the VHS because I'm interested in what the um, what is on the VHS is. Wait, what floor am I on now? Wrong. Wait, can I view the uh, VHS on my TV? Nope.
and home movie one. Oh. What the fuck? Home movie preserved in a VHS cassette. An assortment of colorful stickers are plastered on it. I like how the um the select noise or whatever sounds like the um like the phone. Fourth floor. Follow me around again. I told you not to. I am not. I'm not following you around. You're following me around. You've been trailing behind me since I came here. It's goddamn creepy, you know. This place is bad enough as it is. I want to make sure you wouldn't get lost. Lots of people come here and get lost, you know. I didn't want you to get stuck somewhere weird. I didn't realize. Well, people never realize anything at all. Teddy bear, my car. With a rocket like this, when I was a kid, I thought that moon men might be friendlier to me than the ones on Earth. Yeah, the music is just kind of loud. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, you're still following me around, didn't you have something else to do? Hey, hey, Lara, Lyra, you drove all of the way from the capital to here, right? Yeah. Were you scared of being alone? No, I didn't expect to make it this far, to be honest. Why? Well, I thought I'd die in a snowdrift or something. Why did you decide to start traveling then? Well, I thought it'd be nicer to disappear quietly. No one disappears, Lyra. We exist in the fabric of others, our others' memories forever. Did I say something bad? Aww. Does this picture perfect ephemera belong to anyone at all? Papers on the floor. Blueprint blue black. Cannot speak, dude. So which room has that has the gasoline in it? A neon soda. I don't know, I have two of the two neon sodas. Hey, uh, yep. This is gasoline. Collect the liquid. The liquid seeps out of the pipe, filling the jar with the disgusting muck. Jar of liquid. The jar is filled with quote unquote gasoline. Is that a fifth floor? The rooftop. Oh, huh. This is. This is quite calmer. These stars. These are the same stars that you've been watching, right? So even before you came here, we were looking at the same sky. I'm not allowed to leave because it's dangerous outside. The stars are the same. I'm connected with everyone through this endless sky. I wish I could be friends with everyone who looks at these stars. I've never seen so many stars at night. In the city, the light pollution blocks them out. I didn't know that. We, uh, we see the same moon though. Everyone watches the moon change with me all around the world. When I grow up, I'm gonna go to the moon and everyone will see me and I'll see everyone on Earth. When I was your age, I wanted to be a cosmonaut too. I wanted to watch the sunrise from space. It's supposed to be breathtaking. But you change your mind. Space travel isn't profitable anymore. Oh, well, I don't care about that. I'm gonna sell moon rocks. People will pay a lot of money for those. That's a smart idea. You'll buy some from me, right? I'll save one for you, a big one, a pretty big one. Of course. Key. Alright. Well, 
I guess. The fuck? I was gonna say, well, I guess I have my gasoline. But, uh, I don't. Uh, he's on the stairs I walked up. No, there's something very wrong with how they feel. It's not concrete or stone, it feels organic like leather. To vomit. There are pan posters like you'd find in a teenager's bedroom, but I can't read any of the words. I recognize the letters, but the words are alien. Faces are in a, in a slurry too. Three eyes, no mouth, an upside down nose. It's a bizarre simulacrum of humanity. What kind of place is this? What am I supposed to do now? Fuck. Huh? The walls are reshuffling themselves. I wonder if I'll be crushed between them. Maybe it's better to stay in one place so that I can get it over with. What the fuck? It should be ordinary faces, all of the parts are there still, there's something about them that revolts me. I've been in this room before, it's a diff but it's different now. Oh, okay. Changed. Oh. What the fuck? We're in a classroom now. Oh, okay. Couldn't even look at the little paper I wanted to. Basement. And a war poster, like propaganda shit. Okay. The mouth. I tried so hard, but but what? But what? The supermarket. Oh. Please help. What the fuck did you do to me? I feel like talk to you. The room started changing like they were trying to trap me. You're still here, Lyra? I heard the concrete moving when you left. I thought, why are you so calm? I'm glad you're safe. I wanted to talk to you again. Did you find the gasoline you were talking about before? Yeah. You want to lead you uh, back to your car? Yeah. Let's walk outside together. Okay. I think these stairs will take us back to your car outside. The same ones that I took to get here. Does one door lead to two stairwells? It's hard to tell, they like, change around sometimes. Can you tell when they're about to change? A little. I'm supposed to be careful and stay out of the way. What happens if you get in the way when it's change? Uh, <laughs> let's head outside before it starts to rain. Um. It's supposed to rain today. We're almost outside. It started making sense when you come. Uh, once you came with me, why is that? Before the rooms seem to fold back on each other. That's a secret. You're part of it, aren't you? You're made of the same thing as the pulsing meat. I don't know why, but I thought you were just a normal kid when I first saw you. Are you a normal person? Um, I don't know. I didn't think you were a normal person because most people don't want to be my friend. Most of them are mean to me and they yell and scream and try to hit me. Ouch. 
It's really, uh, I'll really, really miss you, Lyra, when you write me lots of letters. I'll try to. I'm so excited. I wonder if this is hell. I thought my brain has created an amalgamation of childhood or ch of television, of grandmother's appointment. Who are you, then? When I step outside, you'll disappear, won't you? Don't be silly. I'm staying here. VR this is where you came in, right? It is. I can't believe it. That means you're leaving for real this time. I'll miss you really badly. You won't forget about me, right? Promise? Wait, wait, please don't cry. You don't need to cry, I promise. Only if you promise you'll remember. Promise. Yeah, I promise. It's definitely going to be. Okay, alright. Bye bye. Goodbye, Nika. Am I in your way? No. Can I go back? No, I don't wanna. Yep, no, this is this is genuinely the fucking average European just experience. A rusted hunk of metal in front of me badly resembles the vehicle I drove in here. It can it can be the same car, of course. I was only gone for half a day at most. A tree has already grown from the wreckage and died, leaving its brittle branches escaping from the windows. <laughs> of course. Going out of a world of flesh and returning to my mundane everyday life. That'd be funny. She's not there. Oh, she is. Lira, you didn't leave yet. You came back already. I don't think I can leave anymore. Don't be silly, silly. So you'll stay just for a little bit? Yeah. Yay. Do you want to meet my family? They will love to see you. I'm really super sure. If you're afraid of getting lost, I can take you there. Because I know everything about my home. Another. I feel like a mouse being toyed by an invisible cat or something like that. Yet, there's something calming about having no agency in your own life. To be completely at the mercy of fate, free of any guilt. Building B, room 1. Oh, this room is really gross. It smells like pickles. No, it smells like rotting meat. How much time are you going to give me before I end up like that corpse? I'm not in charge of your death, silly. It's cold outside, but it's warm and cozy in here, right? I'm surprised that the heating system still works. Of course, everything here is alive and living things are warm. You must be hungry, right? Brought a snack. Is it rotten? Nope. With an outstretched arm, she hands me a gingerbread cookie coated in sh powdered sugar. I take it from her and break off a piece. It's warm, soft. There's no blood, no misplaced uh, sinew. It tastes like gingerbread. She fixes her eyes on me uh, with her gaze. You ate it. Do you, do you trust me? I don't care if I die anymore. That's wrong. I look at her quizzically. Silently. Every night I climb to the roof to watch the sunset. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's golden, sometimes it's crimson when the smog makes it so. I want to know what color it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be green, maybe blue. What I want to tell you, Lyra, is that you don't want to die. You only want to escape from suffering. You want to return to the womb. Endless happiness without interruption. As a fantasy, to live is to suffer, or to accept the possibility of future suffering. It only becomes true when you push yourself away from others. Hell yeah, you're really scared of me now, aren't you? I, 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 really, I really just want to make you want to be happy. 
Tears cluster around her eyelashes. Her face is still red from before. You're, you're a good person, so I want you to be happy. I'm sorry for being scary. She begins to wipe her tears with her sleeve, avoiding eye contact with me. What am I to say? Why do I want to comfort this thing that wants me dead? I'm not scared of you, Nika. You're lying. With that, she stands up and races to the other end of the dim hallway. Her face is still speckled with tears. And I don't think so because she's still with me, but... When I grow up, I'll be on posters and in magazine cutouts too. How are you going to achieve that? Well, I'll be really pretty and smart and work super hard and be nice to everyone. Do you think that'll be enough? Why are you running? Why are you ruining my dreams? Because, uh, because you don't have any of your own. That's, that's way too far. You can still pick something to believe in. You said you didn't have a future, but can you dream of anyone, anything still? I don't have a future because I'm dying in a labyrinth of my own hallucinations, kid. I'm sorry, don't leave, please. I'm really sorry. Broken bottles and needles. Do teenagers from the city hang out here? Yep, but I haven't seen them in a long time. I guess because they fucking died. Okay, that is meat. Uh, there was an abandoned block of old apartment on the end of the street that my parents lived on, and I'd spend every day in those empty rooms. These rooms are the same, you know. I mean, do you know? Do you know why you're regurgitating my memories? Regurgitating. I don't know that, but I know lots of other things. Yeah, do you like this place? They made it for you. Is that what you're talking about? Made for me, huh? How lovely. Oh, cocoon of my happy times. Why you ruin it with all of this meat? And then, the one with a big X. I'm guessing is the elevator? Of course. What's that? Piece of chocolate? Oh yeah, I found it in one of the rooms. Looks really tasty. Give it to her? Yeah. Yes! Thank you so much, Leader. You're the best ever. The best ever, huh? I can't say anyone has said that to me before. Hey, Leela. Are you afraid to die? Yeah, I'm terrified of it. I think that's probably why I started driving. Thought that uh, I'd be able to quietly disappear this way, be swallowed up by a snow drift, and be gone, cleanly, bloodlessly. I couldn't accept the finite death. Are you afraid of it? My family told me that I won't die because they love me. I learned about ants, an ant colony. It's it's one single being. When an ant dies, the others eat its shell. The being continues living indefinitely. That's that ant's eyes disallowed and is used to build the eye of a newborn ant. The whole being is immortal because of those strong connections, that powerful love. So, immortality is only achievable through cannibalism. What a funny story. It's just a metaphor. Do you like it? Do you think it would be nice to live indefinitely without fear or want? Like that ant. Re reassem reassimilated into a larger being over and over until the end of time. It's peaceful. Someone ripped the bottom off the control panel. That's okay. I'll understand where we're going. We're here. Oh, huh. Hey, Lyria, have you ever made lollipops? The ones that look like little roosters? Oh, yeah. Oh, I... Those are actually really good. I really like the the, the rooster ones. They're actually kind of tasty. I usually like red. I'll put a picture on screen for those that don't know. Not recently, no. My mother made them for me and my siblings when we were kids. Why? Because I saw them in a book and I really wanted to try them, but I had no idea how to make them. Do you know how? Just sugar, water, and a mold. I think so. So yeah. And you'll show me how to do it later? I can try. Do you promise? Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely in some kind of Russian place. But I mean, the font and the text kind of has it all. Okay, yeah, the door won't open. 
projector. Huh. Oh, computers. Tatlin was lucky to be able to dream. I mean, can you imagine it? 400 meters of steel and glass towering over Petersburg and beaming messages on the clouds, and yet, in 1920, that seemed reasonable. When I, when I started university, I thought I could be like him, dreaming up utopian megastructures for a new era. You're still alive, Lyra. Still have time to become part of something greater. I guess. Door one open. Let's go. Huh? What? Was that a third one? Where am I going? Let's go. Did I just completely skip a floor look 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 this is my swinging pool swimming pool isn't it amazing I, I would have loved to have a pool in the basement of my apartment building when I was a kid it's a shame that all of the water has evaporated though what do you do here I like to play with the voices here when I say something they say it back to me those are just echoes though and I, you can even hear them now. They are echoes. But I can play pretend with echoes. Doesn't that make you feel lonely? Sometimes someone comes here every other year. Sometimes someone comes once a decade. So I'm used to being alone. It's kind of sad. I tried to leave. Well, I tried that 73 times. It doesn't work. I thought you said that your family keeps you company because your connection is so strong. But it's different, they don't have arms and legs. Follow me, okay? I want to show you something special. A piano? Can you play the piano? Damn, she can play the piano. I never expected to see a piano here. Who thought you had to play it? My family taught me. See? They're playing it with me. I can feel the keys move, not under my fingers, but in sync with them. When I'm lonely and I want to cry, and I'm sick of hearing my own voice, I'll play it. I feel their love wrapping around me. It's beautiful. People come and go and go and go, but my family will be here forever. Aren't you scared of being lonely? Aren't you scared of cold death? of the snow outside. Hey Lyra, isn't this sound beautiful? Calling it sound is more accurate than music. The notes play with mathematical accuracy. The squadron and empty. But she's right, it is beautiful. It makes me want to cry. The pulsing organs throbbing in time with her tiny fingers. The white keys falling in seconds before she touches them. Something horrid could not produce such beauty. I want to be in symphony with, uh, with it all. And to be as harmonic as love just held together as it is. As a... My brain hates my body. My soul is nowhere to be found. I'm a human being in 15 discordant parts. All at war. Let's continue onwards. I have something else to show you. I want to go back to the um <coughs> I want to see what's in the what's in the thing we skipped but oh well okay 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 all of it is just flesh are you excited to meet your family yep to be part of something greater to never be hungry or scared I'm excited for you too okay is this what you expected? I don't know, but it's beautiful. So happy for you. I knew you'd realize how wonderful life can be. You are one billion lonely people. There are one billion lonely people, all separated by their flimsy flesh. I wish everyone was able to be happy. I wish the epidermis would disappear. Outside, the snow is 
hill three feet high and everyone is consumed with hatred. It's cold and loveless. That's why you came here, isn't it? To escape. Yes, but I'm still petrified by death. You won't die. You return to the barrierless existence, preceding birth. That would be painful. No, are you still scared? I guess not. I'm glad, I'm really glad. Can you see the ladder? It'll take you forward. The ladder disintegrates into the smoky darkness below. Mellow rocks crumble into marble meat. It's beautiful. Yes, incredibly beautiful. That's the only way I can describe it. The ladder is sturdy. Grew here. For me, I can tell. The sky is so beautiful. I'm glad I'm alive to see such a beautiful sunset. Sunset of Viscara with the peachy hue of adipose tissue and the pink of heart strings. The fibers, no, the hands, reach out and cradle me. I never thought there would be something so wondrous in this rotten world. As I descend, the last glimpse of brick fades into soft, loving, infinite me. Thank you, thank you for showing me this beautiful world. I'm so happy. Oh, okay. You're so lucky, Lyra. You have a perfect life, perfect family, perfect home. You going to come play with us, Lyra? You have to. You said you would yesterday, so don't go. Oh. There you are, sweetheart. I've been looking everywhere for you. Are you having? Uh, are you having fun with your friends? Yeah. So happy to hear that. Came to get you because dinner is ready. The whole family is waiting for you. What are we having for dinner? Surprise, but I know you'll like it. Let's go. Hey, we got the happy end. That's nice. How did you find me? I thought I hid really well. Where were you hiding in the first place? I thought you'd be angry with me. game was only possible thanks to these kind people who helped with beta testing. Thank you for your time and generosity. Furthermore, I used graphics from some of resource sites in addition to ones I created myself. Bathroom and shower tiles are from Pandamara. That's nice. That was nice. Return to Tyler Street? Yeah. That was really nice actually, I really enjoyed that, that was sweet. Even, even though there were some parts where I was like, what the fuck is happening? I, I like that, that was nice. I'm glad I got the happy ending though, on my first playthrough. Uh, I might go back and do other endings on my own though. Uh, and I'm sad I kinda missed that one room, uh, <laughs> because of my idiot. Uh, it, because I was an idiot, but uh... But yeah, uh, I actually really enjoy this one. This one was sweet, even if a bit, uh, well, I wouldn't say unsettling, but it was it was it was still a bit creepy with its imagery a bit. I mean, it was it was kind of unsettling, but in a different kind of way. That was that's still enjoyable. So yeah, um, if you want to play for yourself, I'll uh, of course include the person that made it, uh, the person that made it, uh, Ichio. It's gonna be in the description and the Twitter for the person that made it as well. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like or subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you wanna. Um, but yeah, that was Flesh, Blood and Concrete and I was Lunar Rail, so goodbye everyone. <laughs>